Hey everybody, welcome back to Big Red EDC. We're taking a look at a few more Rough Rider knives. To, you know, you guys know with the, the whole Rough Rider, Let's Talk Rough Rider series, um, we take a look at some of the reserve knives, and then I try to get some samples from some of the different series of Rough Rider knives on the channel to take a look at. Now, I, I have to admit, I'm a little behind trying to catch up here. But we've got three really cool series here. We have the Tater Skin, the Faded Blue Jeans, and then we have the Copperstone series. Now, when I say I've kind of fallen behind, the Copperstone series, there's four knife series, but right now Smoky Mountain only shows one of them in stock. But don't forget to check, check places like Chicago Knife Works or other places like that when you're looking for Rough Rider knives. Those are good places. Smoky Mountain is not the only one that carries them. But we're going to start with the Copperstone. And I'm going to zoom back in a little bit. And hopefully that will work on our focus issues. I was having focus issues earlier. The camera was, not me though. <laughs> but this is the Copperstone series. This is the 1528, RR1528. This one is the toothpick. Now, this is kind of a cool look. I'm kind of digging this series. Now, you look, you've got the stone with kind of the copper intermixed in it, which, I don't know. Now, you guys know I'm not, I haven't been big on white knives. Of course, the white holiday is a, a huge exception to that. But anyway, um, this is looking pretty cool. I am kind of digging. Of course, you've got the copper bolsters everything on this toothpick and you even got a copper kind of a copper plated blade there nice little clip there match strike pull of course but let's just take a quick look at it and you've got copper all around now those are integral yeah they are the bolsters and liners are all one piece because they're copper which is very cool now it's already starting to patina i haven't had it out that much but it, it is already starting to take a patina on it as you can see which is going to end up looking pretty cool now I, I of course i'll end up giving this away at some point but let's take a look at the back just i mean that looks really really good now like i said there are four knives in this series you got the trapper you have the lock back uh, you have a lady leg and then you have this little toothpick now the toothpick is out of stock right now. I'm sorry. Uh, the Trapper is in stock at SMKW. And it's actually nice. It's actually got another kind of copper piece that runs through the center. So that's a little bit extra kind of bling, if you will. But this guy, the toothpick, it's running $8.99. Nine bucks for this little knife. That is... Yeah, I, I've kind of talked about it before. But these things are gateway drugs, man. I'm telling you. They really, really are. But overall, it's just kind of a cool, cool little knife. Nice little toothpick. We'll get you some specs here real quick. We'll just throw them out there as far as like length and such. But one, two, three, four, five. You're looking at right about five and a quarter overall. Handle, you're looking at right about three inches, which is going to give you about a two and a quarter ish inch blade two and three eighths maybe with a cutting edge of right about two inches but overall this is just a neat looking i'm actually kind of digging this series yes it's white but it's got that copper mixed in with it and the copper bolsters and kind of that copper plated 448 blade that just looks really really neat yeah i am i'm really kind of digging this one so that's the first one we're going to check out. Uh, let's go to the Tater Skin. How's that? Now, the Tater Skin, it's a lot bigger series. There are a lot more in this series. This one happens to be the RR2375. This is kind of like the bow or sow belly, I guess, if you will. Now, this is pretty cool. I am digging this brown burlap. Now, nickel silver, pins, shield, bolsters, brass liners on this one. Now, you do have a little bit of gapping up there. 
You know, but again, you're looking at, ooh, lanyard pin. There you go. Lanyard fans. But over on, now you do have the R. I know that's supposed to be going away, but it's still there. Pinched bolsters on this one. Uh, pins are inset really nicely. Transitions. Transitions are done really well on the pins, a shield, backside. Yeah, same way. Uh, pins are inset really nice, flush. Transitions to the bolster are fantastic. But that's just a really nice looking little knife. Now, like I said, there are a lot of these in this series. You have the cell belly, you have a stockman, you have the canoe, you have a bow canoe, you have the congress, the trapper, a lady leg, a bow trapper, a lock back. Is there more? If you go to page two, yes, there are. You got the small, it's kind of like a sodbuster. They call it the small work, but it's a locking sodbuster. Um, you have a toothpick and a moose. There's a lot, <laughs> a lot of them. And I said, what is that, 15? Is that 15 in this series? Holy smokes. What do you have there? Yeah, you got the small work, large toothpick, the moose, sow belly, the regular stockman, canoe, bow canoe, congress, trapper, lady leg, bow trapper, lock back. Oh, that's 12. There's 12, and then there's four that are three that are kind of, I don't know if they're, there's no pictures there, so I wonder if they're waiting to come, but there's a Whittler, um, well, two Whittlers, a medium Whittler and a regular size Whittler, and then a large swayback. Uh, there's no pictures there, and they do, shoot, do show out of stocks. So I don't know if those are coming yet or, or what, but I would think if they were there, they'd already be marked as out of stock. But again, you're looking at that 440A. Nice clip point. And this, guys, this with that, I love that curved handle. That makes it really, really feel good in hand. A larger knife than the one I just showed. You know, that little toothpick. This is definitely larger. I, I am really liking the look of these. That brown burlap micarta looks really nice. Now, it is kind of polished. It's not as texturous you know it doesn't have as much is that a word it doesn't have as much texture as, as some burlap micarta i've seen in the past but that really really feels good in hand absolutely and it you kind of got it looks like a match strike nail nick but it's a really large nail nick so it's kind of a combination between a nail nick and a long pole i think that's just really big. Nice swedge on the blade. But overall, that is a really nice looking knife. Now this guy, what's this guy? I gotta look. What is it? All of these come in very, very reasonably priced. I mean, they are, they're obviously Rough Riders. But this one is coming in at, we got the Bow Trapper. So this one is coming in at, $16.99, so 17 bucks. Not bad. Not bad for what actually is a little bit of a pretty decent knife. Now, like I said, you do have a little bit of gapping back there on those. A little bit. Nothing too major, though. But it's there, so we'll point it out. But overall, I am really, really digging this one. Absolutely. Yeah. Yep, that's a, that's a good one. That's a good one in my book. So we went to the copper stone, we went to the tater skin, well now we have the faded blue jean series. Again, there are quite a few in this series. Now we have the 2347, I believe this is considered the large work knife, if I'm not mistaken. But there you go, oh yeah, look at that. You got the large, that denim micarta. Red liners, yes, thank you very much. You got red liners, and then, of course, you have the brass metal liners. Again, we do have a slight bit of gapping there. Nothing too major. But again, pivots done nice. Shield, pins, done very well. Those are done very well. N very nice. I cannot feel those at all. Definitely, definitely digging that. And then, of course, 
you're going to have that nice sort of sod buster style blade, nice swedge, nail nick, and of course it is locking, which is really, really nice. Now for some of you I know, you prefer the locking ones over the slip joints. Well, there you go. So what do you have? You have the work knife. That's what we have right here. Then you're going to have a cotton sampler. You do have a whittler. You have a bow canoe again. You have a trapper. You have a tiny toothpick. You have a one-bladed, which looks like a one-bladed bow trapper. You have a half hog. You have a Texas stockman. You have a mu improved muskrat. You have a small moose. You have a Skinner Trapper and what they call a large toenail. That's a lot. What was that, 13? 13 in this series? And they all show in stock at Smoky Mountain Knife Works. But you guys know me. I'm really kind of partial to this Sodbuster style pattern. So, you know, that jumped out at me. Now, you know, for not for nothing, not for nothing, uh... A nice little bow trapper and the such. Nothing wrong with that. And that Whittler. That Whittler looks nice. Got a really nice Warncliffe on it. A couple of nice pen blades. And several of them. Several of them look really nice. And I'll leave links. To, I'll leave links to all these series down in the description. So you guys can go check them out. If you like. But that is a really. When it says it's a work knife. It's a work knife. Let's, let's just take a look. I know I didn't do that with the tater skin but we're going to look at the specs on this one overall one two three four five six seven now, really eight and a half i i gotta look at their specs because i want to make sure i counted that right is it eight and a half inches long it is wow okay all right so you're looking at right about a four just over a four and a half inch handle which is going to give you, I mean, roughly, you've got a three and three quarter ish inch blade. I guess that'd be a, I guess that, that ends up to me in more like, yeah, I mean, it's eight and a half. But wow, cutting edge, three and, three and a quarter, three and a quarter on the cutting edge. So, but measuring the blade from back here, it's like eight, three and three quarters. So... Anyhow, I am, <laughs> these are three really, really nice series of knives, but this work knife, it is exactly that. I've taken it to work. It does really, really well with rope. It's locking, it's a locking sod buster for the most part. And that kind of, I think that would kind of appeal to some of you that you know, want to get into slip joints, but are not crazy about the non-locking aspects. I think, even though it is locking, I understand. But this could be a bridge. This knife, the, the work knife, could be a bridge in that gap. Because it is locking, but you do get the feel of a nice sod buster. And it's at a really good price. I mean, this thing, what are we talking about here? 15 bucks. Seriously? Yeah, 15 bucks for this. That knife is worth 15 bucks all day long in my book, without a doubt. Absolutely, 100%. So, just kind of a quick look at the series that are available out there from Rough Rider, guys. You know, this is kind of what I like to do from time to time. Of course, you have the work knife right there from the Faded Blue Jean series. You also have the Bow Trapper from the Tater Skin series right there very very nice and then of course we have the little toothpick <laughs> we got that tiny little toothpick well that kind of worked out well i did not try to do that that's just how it worked out little debate from the copper stone series the small toothpick really three i mean if you had these three knives on you you could pretty much do anything you wanted to do guys honestly really you could you got the little guy so you won't scare people. Or that might be the one you loan out to other people. You do have the bow trapper that you're going to be able to do. That bow trapper is going to do 80% of what you want to do during a day. And you're normal. And then you might have the work knife for just a little bit harder task. But it's going to do it. Now they are 448. I get it. 
They're not going to stay as sharp as other steels for as long. I understand. I keep a strop. I keep a, a work sharp field, you know, one of the work sharp field sharpeners in my bag all the time. I go to work. I do a little bit of work. I come up while I'm sitting there waiting. I hone up my knife real quick. No big deal. Back to work without any issue at all. But three really, really cool knives from Rough Rider. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Could you do what you wanted to do in a day with these three knives? Personally, I have no doubt that I could. These three knives would do everything I wanted to do in a day. Uh, this, yeah, no question, no question. But let me know what you think down in the comments. As always, guys, I greatly appreciate you stopping by and taking a look at what I have to offer you. As always, like, subscribe, leave me that comment. You know I love talking to you. Until next time, guys, I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.